going down memory lane for a group of former middle school students in Stanford who opened their 25-year-old time capsule, a story News 12 Shosh Bedrosian has been following from the start. Sometimes it takes more than one dig to get to your goal. And the journey to find this 25-year-old time capsule started on June 4th. And with a few more digs and days later, finally it resurfaced in this new era. Three months later at Dolan Middle School, <laughs> Mr. Rinaldi's 1997 7th grade social studies class is back together with new generations in tow, checking out their old stomping grounds yes. until their tucked away memories came back to life. That's you, look at you. Just like relive all of these moments where a lot of us met for the first time and are still lifelong friends. 13 years old to now 38 year olds. <laughs> the bond of these former classmates are still intact. The most important thing of course is just the connections that they have with one another and they're having, they're going down memory lane from reading future advice they gave to themselves in letters. I think you shouldn't waste your time in class. <laughs> to flipping through yearbooks and scrapbooks. Okay, there's Michaela. And traveling back in time with their mementos. It's um, just like a shock scene. It's easy to get lost in time when so much of it has gone by. We could have never anticipated all of the changes to society and all the changes with technology, but what remains are the relationships that they built when they were in school and their friendships and maybe, maybe this too, it solidifies it even more. In Stanford, Shosh Pedrosian, News 12, Connecticut.